Hey sightseers, we're headed up to that thing up there in the mountains. I don't know if you could see it way up there, but what it looks like is some sort of abandoned building or structure way up. I'm calling that a mountaintop because we don't have things like that back in Wisconsin. I'm not really sure because I can't tell from down here exactly what it is. So we're gonna go find out. This is the first snake I've run across while being out in the desert. It's a very rare desert rope snake. Be careful, it might strike. That's where we're headed folks, but we have to go up and around to access the trail to get there. Listen, can you hear that? That's the sound of a warm water spring flowing down in between here. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to break off the ledge close to the spring, but there's definitely a warm water spring that cuts through here. We found a spot where we could cross so we don't have to go quite as far as I originally thought. So I'm going up. It's a little bit dicier over here. I made it. That's where I gotta go. I'm a bit out of breath though. I need to take a break. Even though I quit smoking years ago, I can definitely feel being out of breath. I don't know, maybe I need to get back into doing some of them yoga deep breathing exercises I used to do. Something. Definitely not prepared for this kind of workout, I'll tell you that. I probably sound like Darth Vader. Check out the view. And I'm still not even up to the top. That's pretty fantastic looking down on that. I'm so close yet so far away. That's an awfully steep cliff there. As much as I'd like to turn back because I'm a little bit scared, I really don't want to turn back because the only way to conquer that fear is to just do it. I just walked that ledge. I can't believe it. I'm doing it. I'm definitely getting closer. This is just a pan of the view from up here. Definitely need to catch my breath for a second. This is by far the most challenging hike I've been on ever. Not just out here, but ever in my life. Holy sh I made it. This is just a view of what's left of the inside. Looks like some of the metal has rotted away along with, I don't know if this is like concrete or something, some kind of stone mix, but that's, like I said, gone. Wonder what that means. You come up here to get all tuned up or what? To put it into perspective, I came from way down there where the RV is parked. 
you probably can't see it. Here, let me try zooming in. Down in there. Rumor has it that they used to serve tea up here. Now, I don't know anybody in their right mind that would want to come all this way for tea, nor who would want to work that job bringing the tea up. That must have been some <laughs> good tea. Or maybe it was some wacky tobacco tea. Quite the view from up here. Just think, if I had a shopping cart and got in it, I'd get down really quick. Well, that, folks, is going to be our way down. It looks a bit easier than the way we came up. And I'll report along the way and let you know. So that's one last look. Say goodbye. So I'm actually walking down. I didn't think I'd make it to this point where I could easily walk down without fear of falling. It's definitely getting easier each time. I don't know if I'm going to run out and buy mountain climbing gear anytime soon. I heard Camo Dave likes to do hiking. I wonder if this is the kind of hiking he was talking about. I don't know if this hike would be rated as difficult or moderate. For me, I would rate it definitely difficult. Especially if you've never done this sort of thing before. Just because of the steep inclines and the nature of the gravel. A lot of like pea gravel on the trail. Plus, if you're like me and you have a bit of a fear of heights, definitely rate it as difficult. Tell you what, this mountain makes Q Mountain look like the bunny hill on a ski hill, if you know what I'm saying. This trail down is actually leading us to the little hill or mountain, whatever you want to call it, that I scaled in the very first hike. Piece of cake.